I'm looking at. That's a buck. Yeah. Can you see him okay? We'll hear in a minute. Surprised he's not up and running. I tell you right now. Well, he knows it's not hunting season. Yeah. He'd definitely be on the wall <laughs> if it was antelope season. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely antelope country. That's why I put in for that. I've been putting in for this unit. Hopefully. One, two, three, four, five or six does. Yeah, I spotted those horns right away. Not used to seeing them that close up. All right. It's 10.30 now, and we've been driving for a couple hours. I think we left the house about 8.30. Yeah, we've been out a couple hours, so we're going to go over here and go across the road and set up and try to call in something up the draw or from out there. Got to start somewhere, so this is where we're going to start. So I'm shooting my 17 HMR Heavy Barrel Little Savage, which I've custom Duracoated, this green sage pattern. Joe is shooting his Remington Model 7 Predator 223. And he's gonna be using his electronic call on a uh, tripod, which I duracoated for him. Oh, that's your call. Oh, you f <laughs> you ass. <laughs> f me. <laughs> you prick. <laughs> that totally fooled me. Look on your face. I went, holy shit, there's a pack right out there. The jackass turned on his collar, a howler, and fooled, totally fooled me. Yeah, can't see it on the GoPro. There's, we're watching three bull elk 
way up the road. That's a huge bull in the lead. They're crossing the road out here in the damn sagebrush. Oh, I think it's two bulls and a cow. Maybe. I think the last one's a cow. But if you get up there, I can try to get the, um, they'll stop out there. I'll try to get the other camera on them. No, that one small one's a spike. Oh, okay, it is three bulls then. Wow. That one on the left is a really nice bowl. One in the middle, not too bad, and a little spike. That's something you don't see every day out in the uh, grasslands, desert country. Show you how far away they were. Are they're way out there? They're gone. Yeah, they were over there when we spotted them. <laughs> we're just out here in this dusty ass road. Now we just spotted some antelope. One of them's a nice buck, Joe says. I can't see. Oh, God. Yeah, Jesus he, Christ. He, that he, is a huge buck. Man. Oh, I, gotta, yeah. I gotta try to get him on the camera. That's on, another trophy right there. Let me try to get him on the other camera. Is this thing, let me out. He, he's the front one. Let me out. Is he running? Is he gone? No, he's right there. Let's All right. Oh, yeah, I got him. Oh, that's a nice buck. That is a beauty. That's way nicer than the one from this morning. Yeah, he's a lot wider and uh, a little taller. There he is. Oh, I am a happy outdoor filmer right now. That is a nice antelope. Right straight in, Tadis. Right straight in. There's one coming right straight up the hill, Tadis. Get your rifle. Right straight. Don't even look. He's 50 yards out. Get your rifle. He's going to the right. He's going to the right. Fuck me. He's down that tall grass. No, that's not them. God damn it. Get up. Oh. It was about there he is. There he goes to the left. See him? Fuck. Oh. Okay. Joe, see, see the little green bush down here? Yeah. Go to the left and down 25 yards. There he goes, there he goes, he's going to the gully. <sighs> there he is. See him? I see him. Okay. Whoa. 
to get him. Did you get him? Oh shit. Oh. That grass is so damn high. If I did it went clean through him. Let's go down there, start down. Yeah, let's give it a minute. We might I looked up and he was bounding straight. He stopped and I He was bounding straight up the hill at us. No shit? Yes. Couldn't see him in the grass. I saw his ears coming. His head his ears coming up through the grass. I was like, oh shit, he's coming straight at us. Yes, it'd give it five oh, wait a minute. He's hit. Let's go. He's hit. Let's go. He's hit. I see his tail flopping around. Alright. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit! I was standing up when I saw him coming. I was gonna... Well, it took me a while to find him in the damn ground. I know. <laughs> He's right there. Ah, uh, oh, let me finish him off with this pistol. I was right here. I was wanting to glass that area up there because we really hadn't been able to see it. And I got right here. Right here, and I went, oh shit. And that coyote was 50 yards down the hill, just coming up the hill at leaps and bounds. And so I ducked down, alerted Joe. He grabbed the rifle, and that time the coyote was probably putting the sneak out of here. But uh, he only made it 110 yards. And he fell to the little Remington Model 7 Predator in 223, which used to be my rifle until I sold it to Joe. That's true. <laughs> And it's been a good rifle. Yes, it has. I don't remember now why the hell I sold it. Damn it. You wanted to uh, get a different rifle. Oh, yeah, that's me. I always want to get a different rifle. So what what kind of load did you shoot it with, hand load? It was a hand load, a 60-grain nozzler, ballistic tip, Varmageddon. There you go. Oh, a Varmageddon, huh? Yeah. Okay, we're out of here. We're going to head back to Buell. Probably buy a six pack of cold ones, maybe a 12 pack. It is freaking hot. I'll keep my eyes open for rock chucks on the way back. Yeah.